Hello everybody, I am Zandrio, and uh, we're playing some FTL. I'm doing something a little bit different today. Um, instead of actually playing through a game, what I'm going to do is show you some tricks and uh, help you out to play this game a little bit better. Um, I'm going to start with uh, focusing on boarding in this video. So we'll uh, show you some tricks for boarding, um, how to deal with the med bay, and then after that we'll go into boarding defense. Okay, what I'm going to start with here is a little tutorial on how to shuffle your guys around in a room. So uh, let's say we have an enemy in this room on top of this coven guy. And these other three squares only have my own guys. The way combat works in FTL is Coven <coughs> is going to be the only one taking damage. So let's say he's about to die and I want him to switch places with Pomeroy. So the way to do that is you pause the game and you go ahead and move all four of your guys out of this room. Now uh, when you go to move your guys back into the room one at a time, the way this works is the first guy will go to the upper left square, second guy will go to the upper right square third will go to the lower left and the fourth will go to the lower right so we will, what we want to do is move them back in in the correct order to where these two will switch places so we start with the mantis then we put him back in and then we put Trico back in and then we put Coven back in now when I unpause it these two should switch places and there you go that is how you shuffle your guys around in a room. Okay, well now that we know how to do that, um, we'll start worrying about boarding enemy ship. So uh, your biggest problem is probably going to be enemy med bay, and the easiest way to deal with that is the trusty breach bomb two. There's other weapons that can deal with the med bay, but the breach bomb two is the absolute best weapon. It does three damage, which will destroy a fully upgraded med bay. Breach that med bay. All right, so obviously not not everyone's going to have a breach bomb too. You can do it with missiles. You can do it with um, ion bombs. There's lots of different ways to do it. So uh, one way to do to take care of the med bay is to blow it up. Another way to deal with the med bay is to have crystal men. Now not everyone has going to be able to have crystal men in every playthrough, obviously, but uh, if you start with the crystal cruiser B, you will. Um, and also, you know, sometimes you get a crystal dude on your run through. So lockdown abuse is probably the most powerful way to deal with med bays. I will be a hero. I will attack this guy. He has a med bay, so I am going to have to uh, use my lockdown power. We'll take down his weapons here. Alright, his beam is harmless by itself, so we'll let these other guys come in, and then we will lock him in with me. Now, what if, what if you don't really have any good weapons, though, but you have a bunch of really powerful mantises? Uh, if you do it right, you can actually kill them in the med bay, as long as they're almost dead when they get there. So, uh, here's an example of destroying a ship without even killing the med bay first. Attack the ship. by itself. Alright, you two just stay in there and take out the tool when you go Oh, he's got borders on my ship, doesn't he? Now let's say you want to use your boarding party, but they're not very good yet. 
you can actually use your borders as support for your weapons. What you do is you shoot their weapons room, and uh, while it's down, you beam your guys into that weapons room. Now, while you guys are in that room, they can't repair it. So here's an example of that. And what I'm going to attempt to do here is uh, use my boarding troops to keep his weapons room down. They're, in, they're going to be support for my weapons. So what I'll do is I'll first shoot his weapons room to get his weapons down. Okay, his weapons are down. Now I move my borders in. And uh, while my borders are in there, he cannot repair his weapons. So let's just uh, hang out here. They have a med base, so obviously I'm not going to actually be able to kill him. So now that uh, I've stopped them from repairing their weapons, we'll wait for my teleporter to come back up. And we'll get my guys home. And finish him off. Alright, so now what happens when you come upon a automated drone? So, uh, it turns out you can actually use a boarding crew to uh, support your weapons in a fight against a drone as well. Now, you just have to have a level 2 teleporter if you don't have rock men or crystal men. So, here's a good example of uh, using a boarding party to help take down an automated drone. Alright, let's take two of my guys out of here. Send the other two into the weapons room. Okay, let's, let's see if I can hit it first. Okay, now I'll send them in. should kill him. <laughs> nope, not quite. Alright, I think that's it for boarding, so we'll move on to boarding defense. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is something I call the tag team. So you get boarded, what you do is you send some guys to deal with that, 
and then send some more guys to the room next to that. Now as your first guys get hurt, you send them to the med bay and rotate in the guys from the other room. And just continue that until they die. So here's an example of that. So if I can get any scrap here. I've been boarded. Now you guys go over there. You guys are back up for that fight. Stop in for him. You go to the mid bay and you sub in. Why did he not go to the mid bay? Get out of there, you get in. You get out, you get in. I want these guys to get the main experience. Alright, we see that worked well. But what if you're, uh, crew members are pretty wimpy, you don't have too many of them. Um, one thing you can do is just vent your entire ship except for the med bay and run everyone to the med bay. Makes it very easy. Alright, Mantis boarding party. In my weapons room. Why do I not have... okay. He left the weapons room. Dereliction of duty right there. Just not right. right. Drone out. Do not hurt my weapons. Thank you. Uh, missile. missile. Be okay, his weapons are down now. Let's close all these doors up. Got a missile back up. Alright, let's get these guys where they're. Okay, now an even easier way to deal with borders is just upgrade your doors. So they beam onto your ship, you just uh, vent all the rooms up to where they are, and then as they beat into the next room, the vacuum will follow them until they die. Okay, he's got bombs and whatnot. Doesn't look too dangerous. I'm gonna go ahead and ion his shields though, so I can just demolish his weapon system. Uh oh, my ion missed. Okay. It's alright. He's still got a bomb up though. He's porting into my door room. We'll open both those doors so that if they take the door control down, they'll still suck. They're not going to take the door control down. They might take it down to level 2. Oh, they just bombed my engine, didn't they? Jerks! Okay, those guys are going to suffocate very soon here. Keep that door open. Don't want him getting oxygen back in there. Now another trick you can use if you have good doors and your crew is pretty wimpy is uh, just run with all your doors open except for the rooms your guys are in. Once you get boarded, close all the doors and turn off the O2. It's very effective at killing crew. It is a little bit risky, however, because uh, you have no oxygen in most of your ship, and if your O2 room goes out, it's sometimes kind of hard to fix. Alright, he's going to board me. So let's go ahead and just close all the doors, and we'll turn the oxygen off. These poor dudes are stuck there with no oxygen. Oh, they're making it into my cockpit. That's alright, they're gonna die. 
All right, I think that's about all I have on boarding. I probably missed a few things, but whatever. So uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do another of these videos. Um, let me know if you guys want me to, and give me some examples on what you'd like me to show you. And uh, I guess that's it. We'll see you next time.